Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. All right, guys. Number two after vacation. We're getting them going here. Back-to-back -back days. Back-to-back -back days. That's the life. All right, so I picked a good one for John. I'm pretty sure I got him on this one. I'll be surprised if he can guess it, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. So this one's been a little odd for him. Yeah. So we'll see. He's, he's going to use odd a lot in this one, but... I've got an odd in a good way, an odd in a weird way, an okay way, and an odd not in a great way. So so here we go. So diving on in, what are we getting off the nose of this one? A little bit of alcohol. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's smoky. Okay. A little nutty. Get some caramel. Smokiness reminds me of a, a scotch. Okay. I'm not a big scotch drinker. I'd like to explore some more. I've only had a few. I like Glenlivet. Johnny Walker just, oh. But, oh, it reminds me of a scotch for some reason. I don't know if it's the smokiness and the nuttiness combined. Okay. I got a buttery... Maybe a butter pecan No, Like the ice cream, not as creamy as the ice cream. I don't know if there's like a buttery pecan. Something Something other. out there. <laughs> a candy or a caramel that or part, something. Yeah, with the caramel and that, it makes it smell really good. Okay. I mean, who doesn't like the smell of ice cream? I think... I got the mash bill down just by the smell. I could be wrong. I'm not really good on mash bills yet. I study a lot. Okay. I think it's a corn malted barley rye. Maybe the rye could be a little wheat. Okay. All right. A little bit of cinnamon, too. Hmm? I'd give it a 3.75 fair yeah it's, it's good but it's not up there and really good or not even a lead or okay it's all about the taste odd told you he's gonna use odd a lot smoky so the transfer's over yeah smokiness the nuttiness the scotch like notes they all transfer over okay Pepper, black pepper, maybe white pepper. I don't know. I really don't taste the difference between those two, but we'll I just say pepper, just cracked pepper. Thing. I don't know. It's not the butter butter pecanness doesn't really come oh. over. It's more of a bitter nuttiness. Okay. Maybe like a Brazil nut type. Yeah, I was like gonna the, say like Brazil nuts skin have on the outside. A bitter flavor. That part it doesn't really make me want not want to drink it. The oddness is just Odd. bitter in general and smoky, and it still reminds me of a scotch. Okay, that's fair. How's the mouth feel? It's all right. Get a hug, burning, a rise in the back of your mouth. Well, we haven't like that. finished the tasting notes yet. Well, it is tasting. The finish is different. We rate that different. Okay. Trying to rush me again. Maybe. I'd give the taste a 6 out of 10. It tastes like a, if it's a bourbon or a blended or maybe Irish. We do have an Irish in there. What? Tullamore Dew, I think. Oh, you know. I do like okay. that. Okay, well, that was going to be one of my guesses, so I'm not going to guess that because you don't know, you didn't you know didn't he had that. Get my pun. What? 
I do like that. Tell them more I about do. it. <laughs> Anyways, back to the plot. I think it's a, it's a young 90-ish proof. Could okay. be a little bit, a few points lower. Could be a few points higher. I don't see it much going over 95. Okay. Oh, I hate when you get that look. <laughs> Should I just change my nope. guess to 100? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be wrong either way. Really? Maybe. All right, so I'd give it a 6 out of 10 on the taste. Okay. Now, can how, do, how does the mouth feel? The finish. The mouth feel, it's prickly all over. The bitterness sticks around. You get a medium, medium length finish. All the tastes aren't that strong, but like the smokiness just sticks to your tongue and then it's like kind of overwhelming. Oh. I think if that smoky and bitterness didn't stick around, I'd give it a much higher finish. Hmm. Okay. It's interesting. Give it a middle of the road. 2.25. This is the odd and not the so good way is on the finish. Okay. What about the legs? I like them. Legs are. They're nice. They're crazy. They're very nice. A lot of liquid sticks to the side. A lot many, of many runs many streams. right down. Yeah. And after all the streams go away, there's a bunch of little droplets all over the glass. It's nice. This is the stuff I like. I like it when it streaks the glass like that. It's really cool. It's a nice effect. All right. So I won't rate the color until I get the bottle. Okay. So what's the reveal? No. Do you what's want my your guess? guess? Oh. He's not going to be right. Tell him or do would have been one of my guesses. I didn't even know we had that or what it was. So, I think no. it's Irish. But I don't know anything about mash bills of Irish at all. I don't even know if it's similar to scotch. But oh. I'm going to guess old elk. Are you sure it's not a moose? Why oh, we got to make fun of you. That's like three <laughs> videos ago. Uh, or maybe it's caribou on there. Or is it an elk? Is it an elk? Is this a know. Canadian? Um, it is not Canadian. Okay, so it's not caribou. It is... Is it a bourbon? Nope, it is a whiskey. And it's on the Polish side of things, I think you kept saying. Is it the new this barrel is bourbon? one that we just got, and it is the new barrel bourbon. Okay. That John picked up. Um, he just got this on Thursday. We never need to see your face. That's why I broke it out. Um, right. John just picked this up on Thursday. Uh, we both took a swig of it and tried it out to see kind of what we thought about it. And it was different. Um, okay. a little bit. So odd. there is scotch in there. So I'm not, <laughs> no, I, you're I not crazy. We bought this two days ago, one day ago. I already this is forgot. what I deal with guys. Mr. Dory over here, short term memory loss. Well, uh, Exactly. Oh, we're doing, oh, yeah, we're doing a video. <laughs> Dory, Dory. I know who Dory oh, is. I forgot. Stop. Anyways, so John picked this up. It's a little bit of a unique find. It's Barrel Whiskey Infinite Barrel Project. So this is really unique. John was telling me about it. Um, he researched a bunch on it, and it is really odd. Um, but it is odd because it is a huge combination of a bunch of different things. Um, I don't know. So it says on the back, um, our infinite barrel project is a consistently evolving whiskey that is different with each bottling date. After we remove a portion of the infinite barrel to bottle, we replace it with mature whiskeys. The result is an ever changing and increasingly complex cask strength whiskey. Lift your spirits. Cask strength. I was way so, off. So this is 117.5 proof. Yeah, I will say that it's super smooth for that proof. It is very smooth. Um, I would not have guessed this if I wouldn't have looked at it when we first tried it, that it was over 100 proof. There's no way. And I pick up, I think, proofiness really well. John really likes higher proof stuff. I like the lower 90, 80 stuff. Um, 90 is a happy medium for me. This drinks like a 90 proof. It's very smooth. It's very drinkable. It's very nice, but it is very unique. Um, so I'm kind of going with a unique theme. I figured because um, Ocean was a little bit unique. Yeah. Um, these two, I'm going to say these two, and we just got this on Thursday, but these two are probably Ocean and this one are probably my favorite backstory bottles that we have. 
because they are really unique stories. They have really unique stories that are poured into the juice inside the bottle. So I will say I've had samples of their rye, their bourbon, their single barrel. It's all good stuff. They are all, whew, they're, that's a good brand. Yeah. They do source everything. Um, but we're going to take a break and we're going to look at our rating scale and see where we're at here. Yeah. We'll come back. I want to say a little bit more about what's in this bottle. So we'll be right back. Okay. So John did a little bit of research on this yesterday when we picked it up. That was yesterday. That wasn't even yeah. two days ago. Man. I already okay. forgot. <laughs> and it does have scotch in it. So me getting those smells, I have not drank that many, you, much uh, scotch in my life. Nope. I do like that. Glenn Livitz. That was his drink of the summer last summer, but that's because we had it. It was a choice thing. Um, so, okay. So John looked up the different stuff that is in this particular one and bear with me because there's a lot. Um, but this project particularly, so like it says on the back, each, each bottling date is a different mixture of all of this stuff. So the next one is not going to be the same as this. Um, we have the January 15th of 2019 and it has Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee rye, Indiana whiskey, Polish malted rye, single malt scotch, single grain scotch, scotch, Irish whiskey, Polish rye, uh, Western Highlands Scotch Whiskey, Tennessee Bourbon, Indiana Rye, Polish Rye finished in Curacao barrels, Scotch Whiskey finished in Barrel Bourbon barrels, uh, Scotch Whiskey finished in Spanish Brandy barrels. Every batch they add a portion from every bottling to their other products to create a new batch. And then it also on their website you can go to find out more. But that's what we have on that one. Um, I'm assuming they put their normal bourbon in there too. Well, it's, the one was barreled in their barrel bourbons. Oh, that yeah. But I think they might. They do. I'm sure they probably add their own to it too. Keep an eye out for this brand because they're they're, they're putting out some up. stuff and they're, they're a little pricey, but. Well, this is what you paid sixty five here, I think, yeah. for this. So that's not too bad. There are other stuffs up there in the 80s and 90s. Some of the 100. 100, yeah. Um, but everything I've tasted, I would pay. I'm I just, would pay it for it, too. I wouldn't be mad if he brought home a bottle. Their rye away. is... Whew, their rye is up there with yeah. the best of them. Their rye is very good. But they um, source, so it's probably MGP. But they must mm, have some certain ways of aging. and. They have their own their own thing going. They have their own, I mean, everybody does, whether you're sourced or you make your own. Um, everybody has their own way, and they, whatever they're doing, they're doing it well. Um, but finishing up <laughs> our actual review. So you're at 12 points right now. What do you feel for the look in the bottle? That is, I like it. It looks like honey. <laughs> like if it wasn't moving, like I would feel it was honey. honey. Yeah. It's not like a light honey like the last review, Jefferson's no. Ocean. It's like a darker honey. Um, I like it. It's nice and reflective. It's really golden. and It's just super clean looking. It is. I it's love the bottle, clean. too. It's, it's There's nothing really Crazy like about it, but... It's not crazy. It's simple, but it's elegant. Yeah. I'd give the color 2.25. Okay. I'd, I'd give the bottle a 2.25 also. Alright, so that so comes up to sixteen and a half. That would have been four and a half. So what would have been four and a half or what? Two point two oh, five and two point two five. I can math. Some Most days. Time. So that brings you up to sixteen and a half total. So sixty six out of a hundred. A little rough, but see, um, like I've said before, sixties are not bad. No, they're and not awful. But John also has been reading up, um, we're on a couple different bourbon pages and stuff, and he's talked to a couple people who have per picked up this particular bottle. Um, a lot of people say after you crack it open and pour it for a little while, and or pour a glass of it, get a little bit of it gone, and then let it sit, 
They said that it brings out a lot of different flavors and notes, which we even notice with some of our bottles, sometimes that the different flavors that change. Even just John, me doing a pour for him, if he lets it sit out or he's kind of sipping it slow, he'll pick it up sometimes and he'll, oh, whoa, like this has got a whole new smell or a whole new taste to it. So it's kind of different. It's one of the things I really enjoy about bourbons and whiskeys is that they, I mean, they do they do mature and, and differentiate just a little bit, just the slightest notes with um, being opened for a little bit longer. So it's kind of fun to see what happens. I can tell you this one, it tastes very strong of scotch. Um, well, there's a lot of scotch It makes in me want to try some scotches. Because I don't, a six out of 10 on the taste is a little low. It's mm. not something I would drink all the time, but. It's another one of those that's kind of fun to have This around. one makes me want to open my eyes to a lot of stuff. This is very interesting. Well, and we've talked, um, we've talked to some of our friends and stuff that uh, do liquor stores or are bourbon enthusiasts too. And they say the same thing that um, trying branching out into different scotches and different other stuff is usually beneficial. Um, John and I started out just doing like whiskeys and bourbons and then we like, I think what Sazerac was our first rye. We were both kind of like then rye. Then we went into Michter's and yep. And, and we've I mean Old Forester. And that's and, the thing is we we found some that we don't like and we found some that we really enjoy. So it's and we both have a different flavor with it. He likes the ones that are real heavy on the rye, and I like the ones. I like love Sazerac. rye. I love yeah. rye bread. I love rye chips. So yeah. But so, I also kind of got sick of Sazerac. I don't really go to it much anymore because. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. I bought a bunch of bottles and maybe I'll revisit it later, but bring it back and see how he likes it again. But it's just different. It's one of the things like going a little off topic, but it's one of the things that John and I, I think really enjoy about it is there's just so much uniqueness to bourbon and whiskey. And, um, maybe we will, maybe we'll pick up some scotches and start doing some blind tasting. Well, and we see are if blind I can bourbon and whiskey, off. so right. we're not going to stick to just bourbons. Nope. Obviously, we, this is yep, this considered is... an American whiskey, that says I don't on know. it. Right, I don't know. I don't know what you would consider it. I mean, all that, there's so much stuff in here. I, this bottle, I know it's, it's that low rating, but this bottle makes me want to try absolutely everything that they do. We'll see. I'm going to have to work some overtime for that because it's a little pricey. But um, I definitely, again, this is another unique bottle. Like, it is a little bit up there. It's not as bad as Ocean, but um, it is a little bit pricier. But, I mean, personally, I think I like to have the weird stuff. Mm -hmm. I like to have the stuff to have people try, you know, push them outside their comfort zone and see yeah, what they can do. this one definitely pushed me. <laughs> he kept saying odd, and he I was went like, to, mm. I went to go get just a cheap bottle of maybe Larceny or yeah. Evan Williams Single Barrel, and I saw that. But I was debating it for a while, and I was like, I gotta try something new. Yeah, try something, and there you go. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe we'll revisit it in a month or so and yeah. see how it ages Keep an eye on the bit. Facebook. I'll let this sit for a couple weeks, see if it changes. There's Maybe a lot of bottles that I didn't really like at first that changed. Mm -hmm. so They're a little bit better as it goes. We'll see so. if this one evolves. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't think that they're very hard to find. Uh, I think they're pretty much everywhere. I've been seeing them I've everywhere. I've seen a lot of their products, so. but I've never seen one of these. So I don't know right. how hard this one is to find. I don't know. I mean, but as far as the other stuff goes. But pick it up and try it. They Every couple months, they do a new batch. And every barrel that they dump, they just throw into a big vault mm -hmm. and mix it all together. And it's an ever-changing whiskey, which is super interesting. And I love It's a story that, bottle. Yeah, companies that try to go outside of the lines. Yeah. Trying to be a little bit different or just that one step above. So they've got some really good, you know, normal basic stuff. And then now something like this. So... Try it out. See what you guys think. Let us know. Comment. Let us know how you feel about the other stuff, about the other bottles, which one maybe we should try. Um, and we'll see what happens. But definitely if you have the knack for having one of those odd bottles, kind of like Ocean and stuff laying around, this would be one to pick up for sure. It's a good find. So there you have it, guys. 66 out of 100. We got that one down. So definitely pick it up if you guys can find it. And we will see you guys soon.
So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.